Although it was pretty much a dead giveaway when I well, clicked clicks. mouse. Yeah, it was, that's probably so. when it started was when we heard the... Hello everybody and welcome to episode 14 of V&D. My name is Tommy and these are my players. We don't get names. Player 4. They are currently in the Daedalus study of the Olympic Castle. They are trying to avoid the guards that may or may not be there. There may have been only six guards, we're not quite sure. Now... You guys are now stepping into a study that is littered with books and shelves, and there's a very thick smell of wood and pages, and there may have actually been like a candle just recently blown out. It looks lived in. It looks disheveled. It looks dirty, but also looks very, very comfortable. There's chairs and poofs and tables and layabouts all around. By yes, the way, Tra yes, Jeff. I. I was gonna bet money that you were gonna say it looks very dirty, but also very, and then I was like. Filling in the blank of my head, I was like, if you say clean, I'm going to scream. <laughs> <laughs> this looks very dirty. Get very clean. Get yeah, very clean. I was like, <laughs> one of the layabouts. <laughs> a poof? Oh, my mom poof, poof. It's like a little foot rest. Mm. Cute. You guys are suddenly... The dog. And the beast. Very aware of something that you were not before. We're all feathers. A cacophony of... Not noise, but it's almost like this silent crescendo has just shot through both of your ears, Ooh. and your skull is vibrating. Oh, ouch. I'm trying to, what, I'm, what I'm trying to describe yeah. is that all four of you simultaneously, at once, learn something, but it's not quite learning, it's more so remembering. Mm -hmm. That you guys have an item in each of your inventories that you don't remember ever having been there. We remember in unison. What? Yes. Ding, where did I get this? I remember. Feather. Oh, it's mine blue. Oh my god, look, I have the correct map of Essos. <laughs> when did I get, where did I get this? <laughs> I, last session, you did very. You, uh, you played paints, they can. You really oh yeah. So, oh yeah. That. Anyway, the four of you have feathers. Listener. Ex Tommy, I want you to remember that there was a code on the back of each of their papers written in a s code of some sort. They had to use a cipher to really decode the code. Cipher! <coughs> cipher! Oh. <laughs> do, 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 do. do you guys pull out the feathers? Well, I mean, I have one, so if we all remember in unison, are, do we all realize that we're all remembering in unison? No. <sighs> Well like, then, I go. Like Mario. I have a gold feather. I'm gonna be like, what is tickling my butt? It's it's a blue feather. I'm gonna put it in my inventory. Please do. I will pull out my green feather. What? <laughs> <laughs> my feather is red. Wow. You guys and I spin your it. necks as you look <laughs> hither and thither back Which at each other actually at different colors because of feathers. When I was little, I used to go to the red feather Christmas tree arm every year. Really? And they'd give you little red feathers. I totally remember that about you. That's why I gave you uh, the red one. I know, I know. He, All like, right. he listens to every word I say. He's a good friend. What? what? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, nice. Mr. Potato takes off his That's lips beautiful. and smacks his butt with them. All right, you got some of the stats of this feather. Can I equip it? This can be HP. It's a thing. You don't remember why it's there. You don't remember where you got it. You don't remember what it does, if it does anything. But I will say that they are lengthy. They're almost a foot long. They're about an inch and Holy. a half in diameter, all the way up the stalk. Is it? But it very steadily thins, but like just suddenly ends at the top. Um, you can tell it's avian, of course, but you're not sure what it comes from. Dinosaur. Sure. Reptiles. <laughs> sure. So <coughs> that's where you're at. Gold right in front of you, feather. right there. Mm. As you guys look past your feathers, like what? there is a moment. table with a tome open. And just above that is a ring. It is silent in here. It is quiet. Whoa. It is full. It's crescendo, though. The crescendo ends as soon as you pull the feathers out. Oh. So if it was like a movie, would like the camera like like pan slowly behind our heads and then get closer and closer until it reaches our profile, which is taking up the entire screen with like a steady like... Kind of like, yes. and then suddenly ending when we pull out the feather. Yes, and then oh, the right. camera goes along your arm to suddenly this feather being there that the watcher has no clue where it came from. Mm. 
<laughs> Meanwhile, there's some extra, or like, you know, some like stagehand who's like lying flush with uh-huh. like, a bunch of crap in front of him, just handing out feathers. Uh-huh. <laughs> for each camera shot. But he's like frantically flipping through, going, shit, 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 Mark 1 is the gold. Okay, and then the blue one. <laughs> and then the boom operators hit someone in the head randomly because they always <laughs> do that. Excellent. I love you. The gaffer is pissed off. Too. He's he's sad. He's extra. Oh, God. Oh, God. What do you guys do? I look around <laughs> the room everywhere but the thing that's clearly supposed to be drawing our attention. <laughs> and I'm gonna examine the thing that should be drawing our attention. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I had a helmet to put my feather on. I have a Reaper's helm, requires uh some strength that I don't have, like eight strength I think. Would you like it? You don't, you don't want it? Oh, it's a Reaper sound. It sounds pretty cool. It's stingy. Yeah. It gives you AHP. Like, guys, look at this cool thing. And we're like everything else. Dionysia, as you are ignoring the blatantly <laughs> evident focal point sure. of this scene, the you technical. notice that there is a large spiral staircase to your left leading up and leading down. Can I see where it goes? Like, does it lead to home? a balcony that we can observe from here? It, uh, it leads to a completely other floor that is enclosed, okay. so it's gotcha. not to a balcony. It's to okay. some other room or yeah, chamber. Maybe stitching. a chamber pot. You don't know. Like the, the material is to do. Yeah. Gives plus 8 okay. HP. Pyra. Do you burn s- the books? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> <laughs> You're like Link walking into a like pottery I'm sorry. barn, and yeah. just like. <gasps> <laughs> 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 oh. At the very end, he's like, "What the hell? Where are all the rupees?" <laughs> You're right. Um, he's, he's just breathing hard. <sighs> <I can't. sighs> a guard comes in, and notices him, like, "Hey, get out! Get out of here! Get out of here!" And then he does like that, like spin attack where like the flames expand from him. He's like, no! <laughs> All the fucking shit breaks. <laughs> Sorry. I'll, I'll finish my my circuit of the room, seeing if anything catches my eye as I go, and then I'll then I'll return to the thing in the middle. Go for it. As I'm already examining it. Yep. Uh, sixteen. Sixteen. Observing observing the room. Check. Mm-hmm. Oh man. You notice that this goes on for about 10 meters deep. It's about 5 meters wide. It's kind of a longer hall kind of thing. Mm-hmm. And But it's not that big. And so you're kind of surprised that this this many books can fit into one space. But hey, they found a way. Um, also, at the very end of this, there is a large wardrobe of sorts. And you're mm-hmm. worried that if you open it, you may end up finding a satyr. <laughs> well, I mean, now I got it. Sure. And Goromir. So I walk up to the tome that's clearly the focal point and the reason of this room. <laughs> and before examining it, I pull the Reaper's helm out of my inventory and hand it to Agate because <laughs> I have a notion that she needs a helmet. <laughs> You're like, you know who would love to put a feather in a helmet? I Agate. wanted to put my feather in my helmet. And then I, I do one of these where I'm like really tall and I do like a... To the tome, unless it's like way up on a pedestal or something. It's not. It's okay. over. <laughs> for you, it's like, read this. For you, it's down by your thighs. <laughs> Basically, yeah. I bend over very awkwardly from the waist. <laughs> just get your face just inches from it. I don't like it. that. Mm. No, really, mm, nice. very I interesting. Have a very see. nice horse butt. Well, might I say, Jenny, what a feather in your cap. Mm. Oh, thank you, thank you. Don't you like Fun, it? Please. I do. What do I see? Oh God! <laughs> Describe this tome to me. They've never turned against does, me. <laughs> does anything? Does anything jump out at me? Like like no, in a however, language that I can read? No. However, story. you are reading a tome consisting of the same language as that's on the cipher. I'm going to save you time and tell you what it says because okay, cool, before this session totally started, decipher. before this session started, you guys have already used the cipher, therefore proving you can, therefore proving that both that all of you have a brain. So, thanks. Yeah. I will say, it's a very short passage. It looks like a journal that has just recently been started. So very limited information in here. However, it's written in very, very, very black ink. And the message... First of all, I'm not expecting you to say that. Basically says... Black. Upon <laughs> the discovery yeah. of the magical nullification qualities of Onyx... Onyx. It is natural that I would have to find an antidote. Some sort of counterpart that would result in magical abilities returning to the user. Hmm. 
Therefore, I must conclude that they are coming. They are coming. Uh oh. Does my um does anyone's weapon like the blade like start like glowing blue or something? <laughs> yes, <laughs> yours. Mine does. <laughs> You suddenly go, I think there's orcs near. Really? Why? <laughs> well, in that case, there's always orcs near. Only when it's active. <laughs> you summon like, orcs. Oh my god, I think there's orcs nearby. <laughs> sort Dude, of orcs. You summoning. are an orc. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That would be such a funny like thing. Have, like, if someone's like playing in, like a half orc. Yep. Yep. Just the best. Oh god, I want to do that. Just get an item that's like completely useless because of an orc in the party. <laughs> okay. We think it's some fancy sword because yeah. it's like it's always glowing. It's like the property is it glows when humans are near. Ah. <laughs> that kind of happened with the Disney campaign where both somebody got the power to have perfect dragon checks all yes. the time. Yes. Then Emery joined the party. <laughs> so <laughs> it's like, oh man, there's a dragon. God damn it. Well, <laughs> every time. Every time. Okay. If you guys go deeper into this place. Well, now, I want to see the ring. Oh, I'm sorry. The ring. It is rather dumb. It's made of onyx. No, it is not. It is made of some sort of bronze. Hmm. And it's not pretty. It's kind of crude, actually. Hmm. And it's a a simple band. And I want you to imagine that there's a flat surface that's circular, right where like a diamond would go or like a gemstone would go. And it's about half to three quarters of an inch in diameter. And on it is a large delta. Um... I think it was in the sorority ring, you guys. Who must find the previous owner? That's likely, yeah. (laughs) Okay. Can I can I sense magic from it? Just take that roll. Eight plus magic is seven, so fifteen. There's minor magic in this. Okay. In other words, it is meant for a very particular use. Hmm. And not meant for like a stat boost or an attack or anything like that, but there is magic in this. I'm going to touch it. You touch it. Like? It feels like bronze. Great. I pick it up. You feel like you're holding bronze. Great. I examine the delta very closely. Is it an engraving? Yes. Cool. I rub the ring delta side down on the page as if I'm like painting the page with a delta symbol. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Therefore, I must conclude that it is actually prudent to hide the antidote away from the king. Bruh. Nice. <laughs> Icarus, if you are reading this, find it within the wardrobe in the bottom drawer deep in the back. Smash cut to me going like, hey, look at wardrobe. <laughs> Narnia. Well, obviously, this is happening. <laughs> See, all it was and being was very efficient. That was, oh, wow, you. dude, you fucking nailed that right <laughs> from the onset. Okay, Trevor. Hmm. Inside, you find a single, like, blatantly obvious, look, a drawer, very low down to the ground, so low that you actually are wondering if you even would have noticed it if Angormir would, had not been like, dude, check the bottom drawer. <laughs> all right, it's like you're just but reading it aloud. it's there, if, like, upon, you have, anyway... It's down there. And then just above it, though, which would draw your attention immediately, is this angelic figure made of metal that's just standing there, very awkwardly stanced, like not how people actually stand. And it has narrow bronze wings that come out the back, very flat face, kind of like a statue. But you're noticing gears coming in between the joints. Hmm. Give me cunning checks, all of you. I was going to say, is it moving? Five. Five. Sixteen. Ah, three Woo! plus two is Pirate, five. the word that comes to your mind is automaton. Hmm. Is it life-size? Yes. Is it currently moving? No. Do I sense magic from it? Yes. I think now is a good time as ever to use my foresight. <laughs> <laughs> I like this idea. Um... I would like to predict specifically just <clears throat> what's going to happen within this corridor in the near future. Okay. Crush With it. A 17. Oh, ha, ha. You know that there Plus is Plus willpower or magic, I don't know. You know that there is a potential for a jump scare <laughs> coming from this thing. 
but there's no violence coming from this thing. You have never seen an automaton before, Angoramir, right. so you're just like, what that? But you're, <laughs> what so, you're, so you're expecting some sort of, like, boogity-boo kind of thing, but you're not seeing violence. Oh, okay. I'm, like, reaching forward, like, so am I just going for the drawer, <laughs> or...? I go for it, man. Woman. <laughs> it's subjective. I would actually toss um, Dynasty of the, the Ring and just be like, it's bronze, and uh, part of the autom- auto- uh, uh, autonomous collective uh, <laughs> has bronze. Although that's harder to say than automaton. <laughs> Lord Me- Megaton. This for us. Megaton. <laughs> Megatron. So this Megatron, <laughs> the, the Bronzatron. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Atoma bronze. Atoma bronze. Atoma bronze is made of bronze. It's in the name. So see if the ring has any effect on Atoma bronze. Does it look like any of the Bromatons? Um, fingers has it like like any wear spots where you would no. see like. No, they don't put it. I'm gonna put the fucking ring on. I'm gonna reach for the drawer then. Okay. You do so. The drawer opens, and you can easily pull it. There's nothing in the drawer. Oh, man. What did the letter say again? Or the journal? I repeat what the letter says. <laughs> Deep in the back, bottom drawer. Stick my hand in there, reach towards the back of it. As With you... the ring. <laughs> it worked for him, okay? <laughs> Give me an intelligence check, please. Yeah. 17. You realize, oh, I can probably pull this out. Oh. <laughs> Good plan. <laughs> yeah. Just pop it out instead. You pull the drawer out, and you feel something break oh, that behind no. it, like some sort of woods, like, and go to stopper material. Good job. But as you pull the drawer out, you're just like, meh. And you <laughs> put your arm in... You feel two items in the back. One is a bottle. Mm-hmm. I'm so sorry. You don't like these in your face. One is a bottle, and the other feels more like a mortar and pestle type shape yeah. with a lid on it. I'll grab them both. Oh. You grab them both. <coughs> and mount. One is made of like a pewter material, and the other is glass, obviously, because it's a bottle. What's the? Oh. Is, is the bottle full of uh, anything? Uh, a particular? black liquid. Oh. Oh, like okay. wasted black. <laughs> First analyze of all. that. <laughs> Uh, okay, and no movement from Megatron? I'm no watching movement from I'm watching him. The automaton. <laughs> the automaton. I just go up and, like, touch it. The invention Where? of Hugo Cabray. In the dick? Mm, tempting. <laughs> just sat <laughs> tap the automaton. <laughs> ping, ping. Like I did with that guy in the alley. Oh. With, it's, it's cheek, sorry. That's okay. it's cheek. He was a so racist. Like, they don't it's count. like the butt Not cheek. Not a stroke. Hey. hey. Maybe butt cheek. No, face cheek. <laughs> face cheek. <laughs> butt cheek. As you poke, prod, pet, whatever the cheek, you are noticing quite distinctly it is made of metal, therefore incredibly hard and uncomfortable to run your fingers across because it's like oddly shaped. It's obviously meant to be humanoid, but it's so obviously not really mortal or alive. Um. <sighs> So, nothing happens, though. Doesn't wake up, doesn't bite you, doesn't freeze you. Hmm. It 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 does, step back. <laughs> you glare at it for not reacting. It doesn't jump scare. It does not glare back. <laughs> I'll, uh, I'll bring the mortar pestle and the, the black liquid back to the rest of the party. So, uh, uh, this is what while, while, while he's doing that, I actually kind of want to just like, flip through the tome. Are, are there any other pages that are... Not in this one. Okay. Is there I'll, fl- on the I'll fling the ring back to Angor. Is there anything cool. on the wall of interest? More books. Um, there are beak. Nine. So, I, that that was I will say that there is a fine collection, handwritten, not mm-hmm. a press, because presses don't exist, handwritten tomes on all of the Olympians. Oh. Okay. I'm going to... Um, all of them. This is going to be like the most like petty lawful good thing I could do I'm going to place the ring back exactly how I found it and I have no intention of taking it and I'm going to take out the gold feather and I'm going to dust the place 
with my feather. That's the, that's the ring, that's the tome, that's the books, that's the uh, Tama I Bronze. My my I want to, so I, you can do that. I yes. want to draw attention to a topic that was touched upon at the very end of last session, hmm. because I said I'd bring it up again. Right. And Goromir voiced desire right. to destroy the souls. Yes. I didn't want to talk about that right now. I just wanted I'm to bring it up. dusting. <laughs> dusting for prints. <laughs> You notice that despite the dishevelment of this room, it's actually relatively not dusty? I thought we were going to say clean. <laughs> Meaning... Hmm. Hmm. That people use it a lot. Yes. Hmm. Oh, scientists. Or Daedalus or whatever. The black liquid that's in the container... Back up. When we were in the cell... And like mental paralysis and, and most of our spells weren't working. We were surrounded by onyx. Yeah. So we would have felt that like numbing effect. Yeah. yeah. Not necessarily. I had you guys roll up in the throne room to see whether or not you could pick up anything amiss. Mm -hmm. All of you rolled no. Except for Pyra, who couldn't tell that anything was amiss about them because you've never felt a nullification effect from anything before. So therefore, you weren't even aware that even down in the cells that something was wrong until you tried to cast a mage light and it couldn't work. So we didn't like feel... There's literally a spike of onyx like in my cell. Yeah, I was gonna say like I was wondering if we felt like that that was the cause kind of thing. Oh, looking can, back at it retroactively. You can surmise that that is likely the cause, yes. So do I get any kind of similar sensation from this? Like is this black ink essentially made of onyx? Is this the kind of... Oh, yeah. Give me a this. magic check. One sec. We need like Senses. Alchemist. Natural nineteen give plus me, thirteen. Give me a history lore check, which is going to be a true check. Another natural nineteen. Wow. Okay. So that okay, dude. Yes, so, so, that, so that second one means that you know a bit, kind of about potion making. Okay. In other words, that if an antidote is ever created kind of like a flu shot, you have to have a bit of the curse or the poison in order to create the antidote. Mm -hmm. In other words, there can't, there could be onyx bits or whatever in here. But I'm guessing that this is the thing to counteract the magic nullification. Follow-up question, are um, our spells still... Good question. You're noticing, based on the battle that you had outside just naturally because all of you were spell fizzling. Mm -hmm. You have been having a troubled time, but you can't quite tell if that's because there's onyx around or because mm -hmm. you guys have spent more than a week in cells. That could be a How, stop our game. However, you still can't mental prowess. My yeah, I was wondering about that. Okay. Um, I think this was the antidote that uh, Big D was talking about. I took all the antidote with my gold. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see if I has any reaction. It's like I'm holding it close to my face and you actually took a nose and I'm like, no. it's dizzy. You, <laughs> you drop notice, it, it breaks everywhere. It's like, oh. <laughs> you notice that as the gold feather touches it, it has a slight black hue that crawls up the, the base, like the actual center part of the feather. Oh, that's cool. But then as you pull it away, it goes back to pure gold. Oh. What if you open it and put the feather in there? So the feathers are magical. <laughs> I actually want to touch our feathers together. Let's do it. I lean my head forward. <laughs> <laughs> Aggie just says out as on her helmet, hey, so she's just like, "Sure, man." I just, I do it. Uh, one all for one, and one for all. Yes, perfect. As oh, the four of you four of very us. beautifully put your feathers together, they glow brighter. <gasps> Nothing else happens. Ladies and gentlemen, put your feathers together for <laughs> our idiocy. That's beautiful. I, I thought it was very pleasing to the eye, personally. You can't see it. It's on top of your head. You're like sitting like this. <laughs> I'm magic. <laughs> you, you're Are you? literally the only non-magical character. <laughs> <laughs> As I look at her, just I taught nothing myself next to magic. magic stat. The All right. art of BS magic. <laughs> it worked really well right then. Yeah. <laughs> I believe her. Anything else that we get... Anything else that we want to look at in this room, or um, let me point up. Is anyone going to get mad if I take a book? It's not my library. No, look the other I mean, way. a bit. <laughs> Sensitivo over here. I sneak taking a book. Um, the, uh, there's an Artemis book. 
There's not a book. Okay, cool. There you are. It doesn't really seem whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. That a, a book from, I'm sorry, a book from like the shelves or yes. like the actual tome that I like? No, a book that from has the shelves. Lessons. Oh, yeah. A right. tome That's is right. one book. A very large book. A chonky Got book. It. A chonky book. Oh, la, that book coming. Got it. Sorry. Yeah, you can, you can take those. Thick. That's right. Thick. Well, there's very clearly a purpose for this book. I want to just like leave it there. Mm-hmm. Yes. I do agree with you. Thank you. Old chum. Old chummy chum. Okay, what color is this book? Green with silver weaving sewn into the cover. Oh, it's a Slytherin book. Yes. As I was dusting, did I see any titles that had the word Essos in it? Hmm. No. It's my new Bible. Actually, as you look, Poopy. you start to get eye strain. I already have an Artemis book. <laughs> what? <laughs> It's very low light in here. You start to That's get like an eye strain headache. Yeah. Oh. I totally already have one, but it doesn't have any descriptors. This one's better. Okay. <laughs> you just write down better or I'm just gonna uh, parentheses I put them together. <laughs> not as good. <laughs> End parentheses. Oh by the way, the Reaper helmet that I gave you, that was gonna be a gift to Undyne. So the next time you see Undyne, just like give it to her again. Okay, thanks bye. Okay. What if we never see her again? Then Merry Goddamn Christmas. Thank you. <laughs> this is cool. She was cool. I agree. She's kind of. Cool. She's dead. I'm kind of sad. Now. Why did I name my crude cleaver Janet, but not? <laughs> I don't know. Why have all these other weapons I didn't name? I think. You Why did you, you name have something against Janet? people named Janet? <laughs> I think you named it Janet because it wasn't doing it for you. <laughs> Damn it, Janet. Pretty sure. Yeah, damn it, Jack. I've got a lot of shit in here. Okay. okay. That's a good thing. It is. You're collecting things. Next time we go to town, I have a lot of random shit to do. Well, next time when we go to town, I'm going to see if I can put something in this big old socket in my breastplate. You know what I mean? <laughs> I mean, like gems. Your breast. Not in my penis. Uncut gems. Uncut penises, really. <laughs> I, that's, that's, yeah. I mean, it is medieval times, Unless, right? Unless you're agate, I don't think there's a lot of cut penises out there. Mm. Stabby, stabby, stabby. And I am a gem. Oh. <laughs> just <true>. like, literally <laughs> stick you on agate. there and you're just flopping like, God damn it. <laughs> My sole purpose of life was I to make flop. his breastplate magical and better. <laughs> I do flappy flappies. All right. Um, Our DM has left the table. I think... This is what happens when you leave players unsupervised. We just start talking about. He's in his own home. He's making. I don't know what he's doing. Do you think he's making the antidote? Oh, I don't know. I can't see. That would be cool. Although I don't want to drink anything that's black. No offense, black people. (laughs) First of all, (gasps) look, it's black. It's February. Well, if I just drank it like immediately. No, but for real, like, is is that like? Did you, you put like squid ink in I there or something? I had that brown one. You remember? Squid ink actually has a flavor, apparently. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I'm just, I just mean like, like squid ink. It got, <laughs> it, mm, it's, like, it's so black. <laughs> you really just want to taste it because it looks black. <laughs> yeah, I do. But does it smell creepy? What if it's it not? Tastes like creepy? <laughs> tastes like something. That's the most racist yeah, thing I've heard. It smells. Because black people it's like spoiler. grapes. It's terrible. I'm sorry, I apologize. No, I don't. <laughs> okay. All right. Upstairs then? Yeah, we, uh, we have to, I mean, apparently, like, talk to Daedalus or something. As you guys go towards the stairs, you are very, very aware of the sound of shifting and groaning downstairs. It is dark down there. And upstairs, you're like... Oh, wait, the spiral goes up and down? Yes. Oh. I just knew about the help. I told you up and down. It's not my fault if you don't listen to your best friend. What? If it's not my fault if you don't listen to Taylor. Can't hear you. Did you say something? <sighs> Which direction do you guys go? I actually call down the hole. I, say, I let my feather pick. Are you okay? Um, which way is it pointing? You put the ring back, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You don't get a response, but you do notice that the groaning or the shuffling or whatever you're hearing doesn't cease. 
Oh. Or, nor does it get more agitated as you are calling down. Nor do you hear anybody calling out and saying, like, they're over there or anything like that. Oh. Kind of, actually. Kind of like oh. that. Can I send my mage light down the stairs? Yes, you may. Don't throw you it. once again revel in the fact that you can do it's so so easily once again. You're just like <laughs> look at that bulbous orb of light just look at that body. bouncing all the way downstairs. <laughs> look at that orbous bulb of light. What? <laughs> you go down, or it goes down, and you're noticing that as it reaches the bottom of the stairs, it opens up into another type of corridor similar to what you're standing in right now, but it's completely dark. And you can see the corner of something. Like, it looks like a blanket, curtain, tarp. Can't quite tell. Hmm. Shall we go look at it? I say we go down first. Close. I have designed this staircase so that you can actually comfortably go downstairs. <laughs> Great. <laughs> yeah. Because I was planning this and I'm just like, I'll be fair. <laughs> Gentlemen first. Um, oh, thank you. There's only one of them. I almost pranced downstairs because I was called the gentleman. And Boromir, you <laughs> enter the darkness. I do. You go into light there. the unknown. Okay. Into the I'm cool unknown. with that. There's mage light though. <laughs> There's mage light though. You <laughs> ignore the mage light as suddenly you are in the middle Noah's of Noah's bright. What is obviously either a workstation that's very messy, a workstation <laughs> that's very messy, or storage. You can't quite tell. It's a much different smell down here. It's musty and it smells like maybe fecal matter, maybe oh, sweat. God. Can't quite tell. Ah, oh, so it's like my stables back at home. Yes, oh, and well, I wasn't it's gonna say much it. darker despite the mage light. And you are <laughs> noticing that there is that corner tarp blanket thing, and it's covering a box type of something. Well, I'm really curious. I'm gonna like take the tarp off. Let's see the box. I want to see the box with my own eyes. Give me a d20. Mm. Give me a trap. Dun, dun. You guys see it whipped back, and there's a cloud of dust that gets pushed up into the air and then suddenly falls down on you guys. And you notice, first thing, there is a wooden sign that's hanging on right in front of a cage. And it says, in common, Child of Arachne. Uh, and it is a young girl with eight eyes that are organized into actually a very beautiful pattern. They're not like they are. <laughs> Wait, like what? what? <laughs> they are <laughs> rel- relatively gray skinned, dark hair, and they're slender. They're slight. They're about four foot five. They're very small, and they have four spider legs that jut out their back, and they have regular human legs human hands and arms. How many are they are curled into themselves and that is where the moaning groaning is coming from. How many the are freaking they? witch from One. Left for Dead. In a cage, you said? In a cage. He is saying they because we don't know if it's male or female. It's female. It says daughter of Arachne. I thought it said child of Arachne. It's a child of Arachne. It's but I did, say, Arachne. I did say way to, way to assume. Thank you did you just assume it's ch- <laughs> Did you just uh, assume that I'm a they? What? <laughs> I tried to be a they in a campaign. I am a singular sir. Oh. Wait, are you a sir? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Caught by my own game. I'm going to try and converse. I do, tra- do you understand... Words are coming out of my mouth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically, like, do you understand common? Uh, because you... Picking up what I'm putting down. Hi. <laughs> How are you? Smelling what I'm oh. stepping in? <laughs> Wingapple. I'm being awkward on purpose because that's. I think my character would be very like. I, I, no, you're just awkward. Yeah, sure. Just kidding. Uh, uh, Can you talk? Uh, Moan once for yes, twice for no. Do you understand? <laughs> I think we should free it. I'm gonna try mental prowess again. Free them, sorry. Twenty-one. Ooh, twenty-one. You have this frustrating wall that just seems to be suffocating your mind. Mm. 
Hold on. Thank you. <laughs> you, you see him pops the lid. Everyone's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> he just close the lid. <laughs> Is there a way that we can like open the cage? Three lines. There is no visible door opening, window lock. Oh, it's like just bars. Hmm. That's unfortunate. Does the Everyone, give me a cutting check as well. Try to... Yeah, Trevor's all about the lol nope on this one. Yeah, that's Fourteen. That's not a. <laughs> Shut up, Chef. Five plus what? two. What'd you roll? Nineteen. What'd you roll? Fourteen. Okay. Dionysia, you're noticing a heck of a lot despite your mental prowess, and you're actually feeling encouraged by the fact, like, I observe a lot without my mental prowess, actually. The wood sign is written in the same sort of slanty writing as the tome upstairs, implying that this was possibly written by Daedalus, but it was not written in the code for some odd reason. Because he wanted other people to be able to know what it is, too. Maybe. Also, you're noticing that there is no waste in the cage. You're also noticing there is no water dish, no food, no evidence of real lived-in qualities. How long have you been in there? She sort of grunts and like like shakes her head in like a weird paranormal kind of way and shifts her face away from you guys. Do you want to be in there? She does not respond. Do you want to be free? Of course she does. She does not respond. What would you want to be in the cage for? I hope I hand out through the cage. Oh, bold. I was thinking it Almost that. unconsciously, one of the spider legs reaches out and puts itself in into your palm. Trevor loves this. Like, yeah. like First this. you fucking make me play Bioshock. Now you've got creepy spider girl. You're not the one touching her, okay? Does it matter? So <laughs> meta. I'm okay. Um... <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of like stroke its leg. I want you to <coughs> describe in great detail what it feels like Ew. in my hand. It's kind of silky hair, and yet it quickly ascends touch, touch, touch. into bristly uncomfortableness. Like there's a slight comfort yet discomfort about this coarse feeling. <laughs> can I? Can I feel? Can I feel the blood being pulsed through? Because that's what. Real spiders do. Can I feel that pulsing blood as well, I, I don't hold? Squeeze her. No. Yet you <laughs> notice that her leg is very warm. Mm. In other words, she does not seem unhealthy. Mm. Mm. I don't I like you. <laughs> I actually like. I'm no, like afraid of spiders too. It's just <laughs> the description of like it doesn't get to me. Do you guys know, do I know anything about Arachne? Hmm. Eleven. You've heard of her. Athena You believe... Shh. You are not in this world. Athena everyone. Shakes her head. Shakes her head. down below. Athena. Like, upside down. Like. <laughs> you, know that, you know that she has some sort of connection to Athena. Don't know how. Don't remember how. Is she a daughter of Athena? Can I do something similar as well? Because I'm of course. practitioner of the of follower course. of Athena. You know exactly who Arachne is. Yeah. Do tell. You also know the quote-unquote true slash rumor story that Arachne won. And that Athena cursed her to... Uh, put her in her place. Yep. So that would, that would be an interesting point of order. Which one would Dionysia believe? <sighs> Essentially for the story, for everybody else... Arachne was a master weaver. And so she challenged... I can't remember who challenged her. I think Athena challenged Arachne to a battle of weaving, because that sounds epic. And Because Athena was the goddess uh, of craftsmen as and, well. And Athena lost. And so to remind Arachne who's in charge, essentially, she turned her into the world's first spider. People came from miles around because they loved Arachne's work so much that they would say it rivals that Athena. of Athena. Yeah. And yep. therefore, she, Arachne uh, didn't say anything. Mm, it was just people else. praising her stuff. I suddenly feel very well learned about Arachne. That's great. I read the story That's a great. lot. That's great. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Um, I pull out one of the soul stones. Which um, one? Which is funny because I think he has all of them. Yeah. 
He reaches into your pocket. Your cool. Pocket. Yeah. <laughs> 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 ah, sorry, Mister. Let me drink the black potion first. <laughs> All right. I listened when the party told me. Oh, okay, okay. Could you pull out like the purple one or something and like see if Arachne has like a connection to it, like or reacts to it? Sure. Yeah, I'll, I'll follow um, in Goromir's lead and I'll pull out the purple soul, see if uh, Arachne responds. The purple soul. Sure. Mm-hmm. So, just to remind you, this is not Arachne. Sorry. This is Child of Arachne. Child of Arachne. Okay. Arachne 2. There is a... The Arachne. There is a bright purple glow that illuminates all throughout the cage. She does not respond. Back into the, my pouch it goes. Is there anything else telling about this room? Yes. After examining it? Because we, we've been down here for a while without interruption. So, there is a dragon egg. Near the middle of the room. A what? That's yellow with head, with brown specks all over it. There is also another a what? A table with a small white linen cloth put over something round just over there. Also, there's a dragon foot, you think, maybe over there? Like, cut off and shriveled from no. age. Oh. There's also several monster bits, like a hydra tongue. There's a shriveled giant penis. There's a harpy skeleton. And there's also a chest over there, too, at the very end of the corridor. Are you Which, having hot flashes? It's fucking hot in here. I think this is like an alchemist's lair or something. It's weird. I'm going to go look at and what's under the... Uh... Can I? I'm sorry. Oh, thank you. I wanted to deduce one thing real quick. Before okay. You... Sorry. I believe that the alchemist, or, or what have you, whoever uses this room for potion making and the stuff. pharmacist? It's a pharmacist. Becky. Um, <laughs> I think hmm. the child of Arachne is being used for <sighs> spider bits. Oh, yes. Or like venom or something. Like mm-hmm. venom, webbing, something she can hear. Yeah. Which is terrible. Do a of this. Are you still holding her hand? Uh, I never, <laughs> I never said I let go, technically. So yes, I let go. You let go. This has been a long time. Her hand sort of searches for you as you remove it. Well, it's kind of sweet. Like a weird. Way. That she impales you. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> what's under the? I want to see what's under the clock on the table. So there was like a weird shaped thing with a. Give me a d20. Okay. Dragon egg. What is my bite? Or a phoenix egg. Five. You pull it off, and suddenly you are looking face to face with a gorgon head. Oh. Give me a willpower check. I don't like this. Is this the same as an intimidation check? Nope. Okay. Fourteen plus you re- one. You resist turning to stone. Because I'm you're a, a gorgon. gorgon. Okay. Do I see this as well? Do you let the party know that there's a gorgon head in this yeah. room? <laughs> I point to it. There's a gorgon head. Do you cover it back up? Yeah, probably. You're being really nice right now. I am. <laughs> I am. Sure, yeah. I'll just cover that back up. Cool. There's a what? The gorgon head. It's severed. Under there. I want to go look at it. Like, which way was the face pointing? She can tell you. Pull the other side, and I'm gonna try and like side profile and see if I um, recognize them at all. Why would it work if it was separate? Give me a d20 willpower check. That's a reroll. So that's the 16. Well, unnatural 20. Cool. You resist quite easily. Dionysia. For the record, he said unnatural 20. Mm-hmm. Natural 9 no, no. plus 11. Okay, okay. This makes sense. It's the head of your mom. Oh, oh no. I didn't Gonna know cover that. it back up. I'm so sorry. And None of us know this at the moment. Sit there. Just head down. And just try not to destroy everything around me. I'm gonna let everybody else do their thing for a second. The rest of you see the chest at the end of the hall. There's a harpy skeleton. You also are noticing that there is another tarp hanging along the wall. There's also, of course, the staircase leading back up. Hmm. Well, I'd like to uncover the one on the wall. As you do so, you see golden wings. They are large, 
they're actually encompassing each other. Like, the feathers are so heavy that they're actually, like, making kind of like a curtain. That's not like one wing, one wing, but they're, like, touching. Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. It's just, just the wings? Just the wings. Is that, like, nothing else? They don't look natural. Oh. <sighs> Do they look nice? Yeah, <laughs> I was going to say, like, Trevor knows what it is. Jeannie, she's over here. She's like, that's what I'm. <laughs> Wax. Do they look kind of like melty or are they like solid? No, they're solid. Okay. Nice try. Do I see them? Yes. It's like a gold feather and I stroke it. You stroke it. And you notice that the gold, the gold feather actually illuminates the room just a little bit, <clears throat> but the feathers don't. React. They don't react to each other. Okay, cool. That's making sure. Okay, well, I really want to free the girl in the cage, but um, I want to ask you what's going on. Nothing. Look like nothing. you say nothing, or like you like say the word nothing, or you say literally no I say, words. I at do all. not speak. Okay. And I'm going to, with it still underneath the. The re- like how I mean this thing's just just big enough to hold the head. Yes. I take it with me. Woo! All right. Damn. All right. And just dead silent. I don't even look at anybody, and I just stand there. But you see her visibly shaking. Sure. Yeah. So that'll be my cue to leave that alone. I'm gonna. Can I like um, rattle the bar thing a little bit to see if it has any give? The what thing? The cage. It has no get whatsoever. No. I'm going to allow you guys to have an intuition roll. Go ahead and give me a d20. All of us? Three. Nine. Ugh, four. Four. Wow. None of you clue in to the purpose of this cage. I'm, um, DBC is going to walk back upstairs while everybody else is doing their thing. There's, uh, still a chest. I guess we should look at what's in the chest. No. Uh, is, is it unlocked? Do you open it? Yeah, I have to open it. Twelve. Twelve. You have just enough time. What's your defense? My defense is eleven. You have just enough time to realize you just opened a monster. Oh, okay. And you just dick duck your head. Dick? You dick your head aside as a spiked tongue whips past your head, and you're just like, oh shit. It's your action. Can I reactively go try to cut the uh, tongue off? You may try. All right. I said I was going upstairs. Am I all the way up yet? You're up to the to the uh, starting corridor. You know, technically, Noah and my summon sword are both still active. Mm -hmm. So I don't have to activate anything. This is just going to be a roll. A roll to cut. Sugary, sugary, shank. 18. Plus 6. I'm going to give you crit damage for that. What would that be? Uh, It'd be 18 plus... 7, 25. 25. It screams as you cut half of its extended tongue off. It spins in the air and then splats on the ground. And then it slowly hops towards you. The tongue or the rest of it? The rest of it. (laughs) (laughs) The the tongue's like, pincer attack. (laughs) Sank her. I stab it. (laughs) Sorry. You are dealt 8 damage from a solid chest bite. Onto your legs. Now. Oh. Um, and by eight, you mean five. What kind of monster is this? Yes. Yeah. It's a mimic. Uh, it's a classical chest mimic. Excellent. Pyra, you see this, and you're just like, oh. He's got it. I use my, <laughs> I use my minor action to literally tell Pyra, kill it with fire. <laughs> no, yes, kill it. If That's ever there were a time. To kill it with fire. She's like looking at the wing. She's like, sure. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> here's your good boy. Uh, here's your good boy. Yeah, I'll just I'll use fire on it. 
Three. What's the cast right now, isn't it? Do you have improved spell casting? I think yes, you do. I do. It's that cast then. Yeah. Yes. Cool. So, D4. There's your cool board. There's your cool board. You cool. Three. Yeah. That's the totally top. Sixteen. Sixteen. And that's burning. Burning damage. It also is dealt 32 instead. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Super. I'll take that. And Goromir. Oh, it's my turn again? Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Um, I attack it in just a downward vertical slash. <laughs> For a 6 plus 6 is 12. You destroy it automatically. Super. The chest falls apart. The tongue shrivels up and becomes like this limp blue dick. And I'm going to put that into my inventory. <laughs> there's actually two. So I there's did. one, there's half and half. So you guys can each have a oh. shriveled blue dick tongue. Shriveled blue dick tongue. Blue dick tongue. They're actually writing it exactly as I said. <laughs> of course we are. It is law. Good DM. Everything is exciting. So, Dionysia, you are currently holding the staff made of Stygian iron, your mother's head, and you currently have, in between two fingers, a black potion. Black, black, and black death. And you're starting to wonder, where am I? Hmm. What do you do? What are you wishing for from that? Oh. Want my power back. All at once, there is a cacophony of sound that Ah, comes crashing into your brain that says, Dionysia! Yes? Do I recognize the voice? It's Undyne. Oh. I take off my helmet. What? (laughs) Thank God. You're there. Where are you? <laughs> Daedalus' workshop. We'll be right there. Could we hear that? Hyra and Angoramir take 60 XP. I want you to take 50 for unveiling the Gorgon head. Dionysia, I want you to take 50 for taking your mom's head. Mm, that's sad. So I remember when I talked about my parents killed each other. During sex acts, you were like, oh, my parents love each other. Very sad. I know this is meta, but anyway. I'm basically just sitting upstairs, um, holding the head, and just sitting there thinking about my entire childhood and the last time I saw her, and fighting the urge to burn this entire palace down. I want you to take another 50 XP for uh, drinking the potion, for taking the risk and drinking the unknown potion. It has healed you of any blockage that the onyx caused. I want to say that you had an inspiration at that moment of realizing the potion was ingested, just like the starting meal that you had when you came to this place. Hmm. They did it intentionally. Yes. Well, they're yeah. bastards. Well, they collect their tongues. Probably <laughs> <laughs> oh, Malibu is something. I can taste it. That's pure Malibu. Yep. <laughs> pure Malibu. Uh, Pyro was heading upstairs. My Dana's driving home. <laughs> it wasn't that much. No, it wasn't. <laughs> I'm sorry, you're looting the chest? No. Because it is still a chest, and oh, there is loot within. I was, I was just about to ask, honestly, but... I want Pyro to loot it. Yes, oh, so do I, okay. because you... Blew it up. <laughs> you blew it up. Yeah, sure. She will. While they're collecting their tongues, she will reach inside to do it. As the corpse of the mimic is still burning, because it's still getting that second proc of burning, you just reach in because you're like, it can't burn. The fire doesn't burn me anyway. And you reach in and you grab a pouch consisting of 400 gold, and you're just like, sick, I don't need that. And then, <laughs> <laughs> then you grab a short sword with a fire emblem on it. You're like, cool, and you throw away that. <laughs> and then you find a standard HP potion that's also red. It's a 3d6 plus 8 HP potion. 3d6. 3d6 plus what? Plus 8 HP potion. Yeah. Split the gold four ways. Why do I have so many goddamn potions? <laughs> I'm a little... Uh... Drunk? Hoarding? No! <laughs> I know, but you can drink them. Get it? 
No? Okay. So you all get 75 gold? Yeah. Uh, no, 100 gold. 100. Oh, all 100. Right. I can do math. It is at this point when you realize and you look around, one of your party members is blatantly missing. What do the three of you do? There's still stuff in here that I want to do. So there is the spider child, dragon egg, the wings, dragon foot, the hydra tongue, harpy skeleton. I mean, as much as I want to take some of this stuff, I'm not gonna. Because I, I, I mostly just want to ask about this stuff. And also, I'm really fighting the urge to kill the child of Arachne, honestly. Oh, I want to free her. Well. But. I don't know if there's going to be a way to free her. But she's just caged. And being used. Can I read the child of Arachne from here, now that I meant to browse back? Uh, you may try. Where's the cipher, guys? That one. You are um, deducing. My brain is elsewhere. You are deducing that, or you are surmising, or some assuming that due to the fact that you are not her race, it's impossible for you to read her mind. Completely different mental language. <clears throat> well, I don't want to jump to any drastic measures of killing her just yet, you but I mean, that's, I'm leaning towards it. Why? Just to put her out of her misery. Oh. It's a, it would be a mercy kill. kill. Oh, oh, all right. Ooh, all right. Um, I'd be down <laughs> with that. Did you just? Oh, that's my testicle. Oh, Cody, those are my. Well, I mean, like the scientists or whatever, or Daedalus, you might get have it? a um, a it? use, um, like a really important use or something. Right. So I mean, right. Now would we know? Overstep the boundaries of that <laughs> until we talk to Daedalus, which it. I imagine will be happening soon, or we escape with Undyne. That's meta, but um, I noticed that Dionysia was um, not in the right mind when she left, so I don't think that I would go to like follow her to see if she's okay, because she's obviously not okay, and if she needed help, she probably would have said something. There's nothing else I actually really Ow, want to do in here other sorry. than I want to check the dragon egg to see if I can possibly tell how far along it is. And did we did we all know that it was dragon egg? Like we it's all just obviously a dragon egg. Okay. Ah dang. Well, I I want to check to see how far along it is. Can I do it real quick? If I am able to tell. I don't think my character would care about 15 plus 7 magic. Due to the magical sense, or from the magical sense that you get, it seems to be in stasis. Oh, shit. Okay, that's cool. Hi. Um, While he's doing that, I'll, there's there's nothing else that she would want, so she's probably going to go up and... She's okay. not going to say anything, but okay. when she sees her, she'll just kind of stand nearby. Dionysia, what do you do with Pyra's presence? She'll kind of look off like I'm, I'm here if you I need it, but you. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna read her mind. Oh. <laughs> Give me D twenty. Uh, what you my... thinking about? <laughs> with my magic, that's thirty. <laughs> Which is really funny because that was actually your threshold to resist the onyx poisoning. Ooh. Ironic. Anyway, Pyra. What you thinking about? <laughs> 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 it's it's like that meme where it's like we're both like lying on our beds, you know, with our feet like kicking up and just like too much thinking about. Um mostly she's just like raging with curiosity over like obviously Oh I mean she took the head she took the head with her. Like obviously she recognizes her whatever whoever is under there. So she's just super, super curious why it affected her that much. Okay. Where did I find this note? Right under it. Or next to it. I'll, I'll say tucked underneath the curve of its butt. It says hatch with lightning. Lightning, sorry. Okay. It's meant to be lightning. Okay. Hatch with lightning. I just say it all out as, I, oh. as I'm done deciphering. Sick! <laughs> That's really um, cool. 
Oh, do you want to have your freaking dragon in? <laughs> I already went upstairs. <laughs> the only one with lightning spells. <laughs> um, having read that on Pyra's mind, I'm like, I'm just staring into the middle distance. I'm not looking at her at all. I'm just going to say out loud, this is my mother. It's like an audi- audible. Ooh, shit. Ugh. Is Agate still down here with me? Uh, yes. I ask... <laughs> Where did Pyro go? <laughs> <laughs> I was too busy deciphering. Upstairs, uh, we're having this like deep moment. It's probably went upstairs to check on. Um, oh, right, right, So right, we right, should right. probably go up there too. Before oh. you do that, Agate, where have you been during this? Have you still been looking at the wings? Uh, yeah, and the cage. She's I'm wondering if she should try to like um, bend the bars. Be a moron and try to bend the bars or like hit them with her sword or something. You find those tucked into each wing. Oh. I will say that you find them, and then your attention is called by Angoramir, and you're just like, what? Oh, and then you see the cipher in his hand, and you're like, um, yeah, she's upstairs. Uh. In other words, I'm just bridging that gap. Okay. I'll just decipher these. I'm going to... You yank the cipher out of his hand and just (laughs) start writing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) It's... Seems like there's a bunch of codes. I'm gonna go upstairs, and I just let Agate know. I'm like, while you're deciphering that, I'm gonna go see. Oh, I'll come with you, but I'll do this as I'm walking. Oh, okay. Just so as <laughs> the two of you rejoin the other two, you are now, Danny said, you are now overwhelmed by the company of your friends. However, I'm going to say you're not fully overwhelmed because you've had them around for at least seven days. It's just the you know the devastating silence in my mind now being able to hear things again mm-hmm. in there, that's probably a bit much. All the while, you're also hearing this passive, like, thoughts passively of what Undyne's doing, but can't make out what she's doing, but you're aware that there is a pseudo-mind link happening because she's trying really hard to stay connected with you. I, I expend zero effort trying to maintain the connection. Okay. I'll leave it all up to Undyne. Okay. Um, do I get a read of anybody alive above me? Yes. Any, any... No fewer than ten people. Directly upstairs. Directly upstairs. Okay, so not directly, Sorry. like, if you look up there, right there, but directly I mean, like, up up the staircase? No. Zero people. Hmm. But just above in general, I'm getting a sense of people in the palace. Yes. It's almost, hmm, interesting. Effectively on the third floor. Um, I need to find the person who did this and I'm going to rip them apart with my mind you're really reminding me right now not actually of the character but the voice is reminding me of Jamie from Outlander and I'm kind of hot for you right now you're kind of hot for me always bro Taylor fight me off (laughs) (laughs) don't hold me back I love that man. Oh, I put my. Even though I am deciphering, I put a hand on your shoulder. Just. And then zero. say I will rip. I will rip them apart with my sword as well. And my axe. Like, if you like. So. We're here if you want the help. Downstairs was interesting. Right. I've got homework. Next, more. do you want to go upstairs? Yes. Everyone take 200 XP for adventuring down to this optional level. Completely optional. And you really do, and you really dove deep, and the DM appreciates it. Danny, see, I'm so sorry. He's no, that's good. Uh, dig it. And then the just flips off the, the ceiling. <laughs> Amy, <laughs> the DM. So, do I notice the empty bottle in his hand? Yes. Mm-hmm. What happens? And I'm just going to send via mental prowess. I'm back. Oh! Did you eat anything while you were here? No. Has, has um, Pyra been experiencing magical impotency? The thing is, is that you are the only one with mental magic. Got it. So the only one really affected by the food was you. Gotcha. Yes. Okay. Otherwise, you guys had sort of dormant sitting poison in you that may or may not have affected your ability to, to use spells naturally 
but you may never know, and hopefully that poison will pass naturally with, you know, heat. I just um, wiped it out early. So are you able to connect with allies to get us the hell out of here after we talk with Daedalus? Undyne is on her way. No. She reached out to me. Well, should we wait for her and company, or...? I need to see what's upstairs now. She will find us in time. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Okay, holy shit, Jesus. You proceed onward and upward. And upward, you find a platform, a small square antechamber that leads into another part of the castle. It just looks like this was another entrance down into Daedalus' chambers. But this was his own private access up to the third level. Anybody who has ever experienced a castle or done research on them, whatever, knows that this is likely where the royal chambers will be. I just want to say that I deciphered these pieces of paper from the wings and they say can I yes okay. absolutely one says say your name and the other says take flight to the labyrinth say your name take flight to the labyrinth so that's what the wings are for Someone wants to go oh, get the wings. some XP in the labyrinth doing some stuff with a really angry Abomination, maybe. Say your name, take flight to the labyrinth. That's it. That's interesting. Mm-hmm. Are we supposed to like remove the wings off the wall and like just say our name? They're really big, so that's. Am I right to assume that you would see this platform go onward and find a door and just go through, or are you not that reckless? <laughs> I wait. Okay. What do you all want to do? I'm gonna. I'm gonna follow the Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. The, the wings are just like a, a curiosity. And it's interesting. Danisa, but... you are back in charge. Yeah. I'm not needing to do that right now. The presences that I'm feeling up on this level. Do I recognize the king? Yes. Are there people around him? Yes. How many? There's currently three. Any of those three feel familiar as well? Yes. I'm giving you free-flowing yes and no's without rolling because you are brimming with potential right now because it's kind of like a sinus medicine. That opens you up to like yeah. everything I, I've around I've been you. noticing the way you've been describing it. Yes. It's like it's even more than usual. Mm-hmm. You're kind of amplified right now, but you're sort of like, this is not going to stay. You're realizing that this is a high that's going to diminish. Are you uh, okay right now, bud? You feel like Professor X right now, kind of. Oh, God, I want to fuck with their head so bad. I wish that I had the, <laughs> like, the means to just... What I want to convey is there's just, like, a thundercloud coming for them. But I know that's, that's not how it Unfortunately works. Unfortunately not, no. God, that'd be awesome. Yeah. I need to know who brought this about. But what I want is dangerous. What do you want to Sign do? Sign me up. I want to turn the king to stone if he is the one who did this to my mother. Mm. Do you have an inkling that would suggest that the king did this? I don't. It is a feeling. But I know even confronting him will lead to conflict. Right, because we're all prisoners. Uh. Is he alone? No. Three others with him. Let's do this. I would ask how you know. <laughs> but you got your powers back. Just to smash. <laughs> Right. <laughs> it's funny. I know you you said smash, and you're like Hulk smash, but my brain immediately yeah. went to fucking yeah. <laughs> hey Becky, you want smash? <laughs> let, Becky, let me Becky, smash. Let me smash. I just want a little smash. <laughs> Maybe just a little you. smash. <laughs> Becky. <sighs> you know, Natalie, let me smash. <laughs> <laughs> Such a stupid so video. So good though. Um. Okay, so do you know who the three others are? Like, why are we walking can, in? Can like? I delve a little deeper and see if I recognize the three other presences? Yes, you may try. Ooh, that, is that cock, Jeff? It's up on the page, but it's clearly on a three if the it's page is It's clearly on a three. It's kind of three. Three. Okay. Three. And So, 16. You are not able to get a real feeling of... Um, 
that's too gentle. Um, I'm having a hard time <laughs> with ambiance right now. I have one that's called creepy D&D music. It's not really creepy, though. It's oh, more like... It is in my brain right now. Okay, go for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously, you can go for it. Okay. Okay, um, just, if you don't like it, just tell me. It's $100 okay. if you play Marvin Gaye right now. <laughs> <laughs> See, but now the you joke know is done. that the prominent one, the brightest light, the loudest mind, and yet the most intimidating... I'm mean, actually realizing that I'm voicing it kind of like Aragorn. Um, mm-hmm. Is Enclave of Clave. Okay, so we got... The, the, the I mean, king and then clear the clay. So, I mean, what, what do you want to do? You want, you want to open the door and just go in, like, uh, guns a blazing? Or, yeah. should I say, spells a blazing? And swords. Right. Oh, I have no MP. Either way. I also am yeah. very, very low. We're not, we're not doing too hot right now. Right? I mean, I can jab a bunch. My health is okay. With my really heavy fucking huge sword, so. Anybody got an MP potion? I do. I'm gonna do one last check in this whole area for Daedalus himself. Okay. Because we've met him before on the ship. Yes, you have. Go for it. 25. Daedalus is not here. Mm. His consciousness, his will, is in the automaton downstairs. Oh, fuck. King is not who I want. Not at all. It is not worth your lives. What? Hmm. It will not... Conflict will not help us as much as I want to. How do you know? Because Daedalus is inside the machine. We go back down below. We take what we want from the bottom level. And then we try to do... We, we, I don't know what I'm going to do. We are going to find out. But this, and I'll point to where I know the king and Enclave the Clave are. This is not going to help me. It's not going to help you. This is not worth our time. Yeah, I was gonna say, aren't we trying to being like avoid being caught right now? It it just it took a lot of thinking for DNA to so finally back down. What does the, it what does it imply that the Atoma Bronze is Daedalus? Or rather, that Daedalus we heard is him consciousness in there on the ship, on the island where we. Descended into Hades. Yes. I don't know what happened to him in the meantime, but I sense him from inside the machine. I don't know if someone put him in there or if he put himself in there. I want to find out. He is the only link to this laboratory. He is the only one who knows how his head <laughs> came to be in his possession, and I have to know why. Let's go. Oh, you're Let's go. Ask, let's go yes. oh, okay. let's go. I think someone put him inside it. He's sure. not a magician. He's a He's Daedalus. Are we, gonna, what he can do. are we gonna have to speak to Daedalus in like this weird archaic language? We'll see. Alright, let's go. So, I don't know. Also, that was Trevor like trying to open it up. You're like, if you don't want to take shit from down below, that's totally cool with me. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I do, but. Actually, uh, if we go back down below, I want to try and read. Child of Arachne again, just to see if it's going to work without the intervening layers of the building. I don't think it will. So give me an order of operations here. What would you like to do first? Can you please turn up the music? Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, judging by what you just said, I think we should talk to Daedalus first. Fair mm-hmm. deal. We can always grab the stuff from down below. Mm-hmm. And yes, I'm going to go. I'm going to go right to that wardrobe. I'm going to open it up, and I'm going to mental prowess, try and get a read on it. While staring it in its metallic eyes, you can see that the eye that the eyes, you can see that the automaton itself does not have a living conscience. It's almost it's magically fueled by a soul gem that's in the chest cavity, and its activation is not on its own. It needs like a key to a lock in order to turn on. Is the soul gem where I'm getting the sense of Daedalus? Yes. Take it. Yeah, I'm just gonna with mental prowess like. Um, Scarlet Witch at the end of Age of Ultron where she just rips out Ultron's heart. <laughs> Tear it out of there. It was once believed that the world that we see was an infinite distance away from the world of what-ifs. In fact, the realm of the possible is touching the impossible. It is then so impossible to believe that the existence of gods of the underworld and immortality lives in the... I'm just getting this from the stone. Mm-hmm. Is it just like on loop or is it fading? There is a whole myriad of messages of 
words from him. These are like recordings of his thoughts or musings or whatever inside. My son asked me if I was afraid of them. I told him no. I am afraid of man. The mind of the subject will desperately struggle to create memories where none exist. I believe the mortal mind cannot fathom the idea of not knowing. We succumb to the over... Keeps getting cut off. What the fuck? Does this place have good, like better Wi-Fi signal? <laughs> 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 Somebody needs to up- upgrade past AOL online. <laughs> the king seems like a cheap guy. Yeah, he does. Yeah. It's password protected. He's got a shitty public network for everybody else to use. <laughs> yeah, rip off the neighbors. <laughs> you also are all aw- aware that this is all happening while you're like staring at it and like holding it in your hand. So is it playing this out loud or uh, in my mind? In your mind, but you're also all linked. So this is all I'll, happening. Yeah, I'll, all I'll happily prog- broadcast bored. everybody else too. Yeah, we are. If you will. And yet Icarus sits within that impossibility, limbo of living and dying. Is he capable of conscious thought, I wonder? Does he wait for me? If he does, what does he wait for? Not for me to save him, surely. He knows that the gods will never allow it. Mm. Sad. I think we need to take the wings. Take We need to these take the wings. wings. I need to find that ship again. I thought this was him, it is not. Oh. Mm. This is his recordings, his musings. He mm. talks continually about his son. When we met him on the ship, it was yes and no questions. There's a curse upon him. We need to right. figure out how to break it so that I can speak with him. Sounds good. It, and on the gods, they continue to evade the idea of possibility. I have met them, dined with them, lain with them, and attempted to foster friendships with them, yet I still cannot believe that they exist. There is a flaw in the armor of their visage, a ripple in their crystalline guise. For those who are believed to be all-powerful, how can they get away with being so impulsive, so foolish, and sometimes downright stupid? Therefore, I theorize that gods are heretic! Lane with them. And the the soul gem turns like a bright red as it shouts heretic. And the recording stops. I want you to give me a cunning check. Sacred Sith language. It's mad. Fuck. Everybody else give me a cunning check. Never thought of that 20 and bounced off my wallet onto a 2. 7. 12. Plus 2. It's red like a pomegranate. Um. What would such a messy fruit have something to do with heresy? I'll hold out the purple gem. <laughs> yeah, purple gem, Persephone. They do not communicate. Purple gem back and we're <laughs> bitch. <laughs> uh, Talk. <laughs> can I tickle it with my feather? That's right. You may. Nothing happens. Okay. Everybody take 200 XP for taking this further step into the automaton's mystery. So Persephone... He, uh, talking about he did say lane with them. Did you catch that? So should we That's a story. go to the wings now? You mentioned the wings. Right. We take them. Say so your it name. It says take the labyrinth. To the labyrinth. What's the labyrinth that they're talking about? Um, do I know what the labyrinth is? No, none of you do. I was to say, you know more about the stuff than I don't know. Mm. I mean, Trevor real knows. life-wise, yes. Yeah. Story-wise, no. My character's been around for a while. Well, if we go to the labyrinth, like magically, just like appear there, do you think like that surely wouldn't happen? Like the wings are gonna teleport us? Like I don't think so. Would we actually fly, like through the castle? Do we I know die? anything about Icarus? <laughs> oh, let's no. find out. This is so I've heard the name first from the guards and now from the Daedalus musings. I want to go to the wings and I want to say the name Icarus. Well, oh, yeah. hold on, uh, we're waiting for Undyne, aren't we? She'll catch up. How? I don't think the wings are going to take us anywhere. I hope not. <sighs> yes, we will wait. It is the wiser course. I'm going to pace this just fucking way. angrily. Mm, power twitches. While we wait, can I rest? Yes. yes. Me too. Oh, she'll bitch about it. I'm a 45 out of 59 MP. <laughs> 
Anything? Actually, speaking Any of, does anybody need to be healed before we rest? Yes. 19 points of damage, sir. I'm going to cast I Heal on Goromir. 20 points. Of... <laughs> Actually, you know what? Nah, let's be smart about it. So, Heal on Goromir first. That's a cast. La 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 la. Two. But I have plus potions, one is three, like plus one. 13 to heal for 16. Okay, cool. I'm good. Take. It's only going to cost me four MP, because I remember now that I have efficiency. <laughs> How much did you need healing wise, Agate? 20. Fast. 19. Two plus four is six, plus three is 19. Hmm? Heal for 19. Hmm. Yeah. I don't need any healing. Uh, cast a small heal. Thanks, or, buddy. Uh, I'm just going to flash heal myself. Does that cost? Yeah, it costs a little bit less. I'm going to flash heal myself. Ooh, spell burst. <laughs> uh, so it's just full. I, I heal up full. Because I was only missing eight. So, um, can we actually rest? Because I need MP. That's a, good, yeah. that's, a, that's a good question. So, what I'm going to say that 30 minutes into attempting to rest an alarm goes off I've been trying to pull up the sound that I really wanted to associate but hey if any of you end up playing Dishonored that alarm sound uh, <laughs> that sound just echoes across the entire castle through Daedalus's chambers not so much you're actually seeing that there's like no speakers or like real way to get the sound through here meaning that he actually intentionally like muffled his chambers so that he wouldn't be bothered by stupid people outside and then you're like oh crap they must have found the bodies they must know that that we're out of ourselves they must know something oh crap oh crap you hear undyne say stay where you are does it sound like she's talking to the um scholars outside no to you oh is she like above us she you can't tell where she is but she is currently speaking directly to you mental prowess i'm gonna read her okay nat 20 she is almost there, rounding the corner. No one is following her. She is almost to you, and she's going to open. She's going to try to open the door to Daedalus's chambers. Um, I'm point to the doors and say, uh, "Undyne is coming. Nobody with her. Open the doors." Okay. Awesome. Uh, quick little point where do we restore an EMP during that half an hour? So I was going to say since you were interrupted mid-hour and you also were in here low intensity searching, exploring, looking at things. Yes, you fought the mimic, but that was like less than a minute long. I'm going to say yes, you recovered full MP. Oh shit, thanks. Super. Benevolent God. I keep my sustains active though. Mm -hmm. I have spoken. <laughs> It's gonna be World War Five. Peter, yeah, we already covered this. There has to be a World War Three and Four. Five. I have spoken. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, that's cool. So, Undyne knocks at the door. Very quiet. I open. You open. The door. There is a black armored person, massively tall, but still shorter than you, that looks up at you looks down the hall, looks back at you, then steps inside and closes the door behind her. And she takes off her helm and she's like, there's a huge, monstrous, beautiful, ugly smile on her face and she's like, I missed you. Aww. Hey, buddy. She got a helmet. She, yeah, she, she hugs helmet. She hugs Angora here first. Well, I hug back. It's hard to hug her because she's covered in nothing. Yeah. But she crushes you a little bit. You're like, ow, fuck. Jesus, ow. So strong. And then she looks at Aga and she's like, hey. <laughs> she hugs you. And then she looks at both of you and she's like, you, buddy. who died? Aww. What? Did you know? Know what? About what was below. I've never been in here. Do I believe her? Yes. I've never been allowed in here. I have to go to the bathroom. Go for it. Sorry! Sorry. <laughs> How Nature dare calls. you have bodily functions? Mm. When it comes, do you, do it comes. you tell her what you found? Yeah, yeah, I won't do it. I won't do it, RP, but yeah. She will kind of lean up against the wall to catch herself, and she won't know what to say because she's been in your position of knowing that her mom died. Mm -hmm. And her mom was the only one that raised her. 
And so she doesn't really know how to console, but she says, I knew that they were hunting monsters. They do it for sport. I didn't know that they would go to your mom on purpose, intentionally, to get to you or anything like that. Is that what you think happened? No. I think that she was just, unfortunately, at the wrong cave at the wrong time. I mean, I can read it on her, so... She She's trying to create a background as to how she ended up here um, to try to cause, like... She's trying to answer the why that she's assuming is in your mind, mm -hmm. but she doesn't know. She says to you, so... What's your plan here? There is something going on with one of the items below. There is a chance it will take us somewhere we do not know. I want to find Daedalus. I must understand. I think Daedalus went upstairs to talk to the king, but... He's not here. I do not sense him. We didn't see him leave. The wings. The wings. Something is amiss. We met him on a boat. He sailed here from the southern province, yeah. Uh, then he came back, he came home, this is where he lives now, and he gave a coded report to the king, and that's last I saw him. He showed up a few days ago. He's with the king now? That's last I saw, yeah. I do not understand anything in this fucking place. Well, I wanted to say that Hammer and I are quitting our jobs here. So Looking we can for employment. We can <laughs> Awesome. We can do whatever you want and not risk our cover because basically we blew it here. So what do you need? I mean, if we think that Daedalus is here now, still confronting everybody might not be the prudent course. Mm -mm. Well, we're a lot stronger with Undying. It yeah, may be yeah. prudent for you to know that that professor that you met in Narn that we brought onto our ship. Oh, him? Do you remember his name, by the way? Poe? Bernard. Oh. Oh, right. oh yeah. All right. So. <laughs> Sorry, um, long story. <laughs> there's been a little bit of trouble back at the Enclave. Um, <clears throat> what happened? He, um, we didn't know. Um, okay, we suspected, but we didn't really interfere. That he was. Um, it's really hot in here. Um, he was being questioned against his will by one of us, and we found out. And we put a stop to it, we, we let him go, because that's not okay, Aldred was furious, and he came back here, and he has a soul with him. Probably the same one that he had back in Narn. Bright red, yeah, bright fucking thing. I'm gonna sense oh, from Poe, since we've met him before. Oh, he's here. Is he with the king? He's near there, he's not quite there. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't swish my water in your mouth. I don't want it back now. <laughs> Do we collect the soul? Yes. Stakes keep getting higher and higher. I see now that that's here. But that's for other reasons. <laughs> what did I miss? I can also guide you out. That would be nice. Do we find a chain of thought? What I Reasonably. I mean, we may have to sneak past guards, but still. So are we going to try the wings, or are we going to confront the king and his company? Now I'm leaning towards king and company. Yep, me too. Really? Yep. If Poe's going there with the soul, if Daedalus is there, then I might be able to question him. I think it's worth it. I've had a lot of adventures in my time. I don't need another one. Hmm. I don't know. Side quests. If you I wasn't expecting. At the same time, to. we we could we could 
hit up the wings. So I'm not sure that they're actually going to take us anywhere. I think they're going to act as a key for something else if we take them somewhere physically, but I don't know. I really don't. We could do this and then do the wings. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we should go sprinting for the wings in the hope it's teleport and bamf out if shit goes screwy <laughs> upstairs. I like that. That could work. And if nothing else, we could take them on our way out. If we have to but run also, if they don't work, old fashioned way. If, really if, if they don't work, we're just going to corner ourselves in this room. Blast our way back out. Run for it. Are you sharing these thoughts, or are these out loud, or thoughts? I if they're thoughts, are you sharing one dying in your mind, Link? Yes. Out loud. Okay. Mm-hmm. I know where the explosives are. <gasps> oh, literally blast our way out. Oh, man. I love Undyne, you know? Yeah, I've really <laughs> missed you. Yeah. I've been pretty hot for you, too. How is um, Hammer doing? It's summer outside. That's hot, yeah, anyway. Sorry, this is kind of a tangent. Hammer's been beside herself. She's been trying to make it down to your cell to get you out, and we aren't allowed on guard duty anymore. We're thinking the king actually suspects something's wrong. That's why we're quitting. By the way, he doesn't know. We haven't put in a two-week notice. <laughs> Who brought us the key? I was actually wondering how you got out. Somebody threw us a key with a note on it that said you have three minutes, and in those three minutes we did not have to worry about guards. That's actually the length of the shift change. That's... There's another insider. Maybe. If it, it wasn't was your hammer. I want to find Poe. I want to find Daedalus. Yeah. You notice that Undyne is suddenly put going through her like little satchel bag, confused, and she pulls out a feather. What color is it? It's purple. Kyra pulled hers out. I pulled mine out. Where'd you get yours? Did you put this in my bag? No. They were just there, as if they've always been there, and we did not know. That's fucking weird. Many things in this castle are. I want to kill something. I don't know. Ooh. Give me a, a mental prowess check right at that statement that you just made. I, I always want to kill something. Kill something 16. To be quite 16. honest. 16. You hear Natural three. an utterance in her mind, like a passing thought of like, like a god. Oh. Is there one nearby? Is there what nearby? A god. That was a, that was just a, um, errant. Th- Ooh, that's a big word for me. Errant thought. It's two syllables. You notice a book in her backpack. It's Amber's Bible. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were gonna say it like it's a thesaurus. <laughs> she pulls out the subtle knife. <laughs> I'm done. I want to ask oh, you something. Oh, that hurt. In, I'm gay. Somewhat secret. This is about as private as. It's gonna get. I'll go ahead and close off the. I guess you're gonna say it out loud. Ha ha! Yeah. Yeah. La 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 la. <laughs> Trevor's like, I'm gonna give you privacy. Shoot, we can't hear each other anymore. <laughs> um, Just talk really quietly. I'll go on the other side of the room. What's your opinion on the enclave now? Alright, well, that's. Uh, we should go upstairs if we're gonna go for Since that. Um, what happens? You seemed really. Um, flustered when you were trying to explain what happened with the interrogation against... I find it frustrating that Aldrin is holding our hands away from violence against the gods that have put us down. And I think the only reason that Aldrin is stopping us is because essentially he's one of them. Mm. But he is wiser than me. He is more intelligent than me. And by God, he's saved my life many times. So I'm not one to really. One more question, and I want your opinion, and then a follow up question. Fingering is better than oral, yes. I disagree. Mental note? Just kidding. <laughs> it's but correct. Like, okay. Sorry about that visual. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you it, stabbing me? Trim your nails! <laughs> <laughs> That's why I filed. <laughs> Hello, listener. How are you doing? <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. 
Okay. Um, monetization. <laughs> does the Enclave still not have a clear course of action as to what to do with the Soul Stones? They're between two thoughts. Do you have to know what really they are? I'm really curious as to how he's gotten so much energy lately. Og and Cog have been working on two different ideas, but they both depend on the amount of soul power that they can put in. Um, I'm not good with mechanics. One is to try to... God. You guys met the star, right? Yes. Wait, no, you didn't. Fuck. What was that? Um, trying to recreate a star without harming a living star. Does that make sense? Yes. Basically trying to create a wish engine without killing the life of a star. That sounds nice. And the other is a massive weapon. Listen. <sighs> I don't like what I'm hearing, but if push came to shove and <laughs> shoving buddies <Yeah. laughs> if push came to shove do you think that you and perhaps anyone else in the enclave would be okay with destroying the souls because due to recent events I'm beginning to trust no one and I don't like the idea of having such power in the world trust no one I feel think believe that the souls are the only way to make the playing field even. Because I saw the fight. That wasn't a god that you that you beat. I'm sorry. I don't know what that was, but we can't fight a god. We can't win on that level unless we have something to even our power with them. And souls are the only way that we know. So it is gonna come to violence eventually. I didn't say that. But I think so. I tell you though, Hammer's gonna try her darndest to not make that happen because I'm pretty sure she has a hard-on for Apollo. Mm. Right. Well, I wasn't suggesting that we do it immediately, because that would be very rash. It's not in my schedule for today, so that's fine. Yeah. Excellent. But in the future, if events were to happen, would you be comfortable doing that? No. Hmm. But probably. Does that make sense? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You'd, be, you'd be torn. Right. So, like, for, for instance, if Dionysia, if Dio over here was over, like, underneath Zeus's boot, and I was screaming my head off, and I had, like, a sword made of souls... Go with me. And I was able to leap forward and cut off Zeus's foot. Fuck yeah, I would. I'd be a legend. I'd turn Zeus into Achilles. That'd be awesome. But that's very particular. Too soon, man. Does that make sense? Too soon. All right. That was just some of my inner deepest thoughts. Sure. That I trust you with. Deep Can we go thoughts. kill something? Yes. yes. Are we all on board for confronting the king and company now? I'm like already stomping. I just wanted to take advantage of the situation because <laughs> it's we're all pretty much uh, alone of with him dying. Yes. Um, can I tell if Poe's with the king and everybody yet? Poe is nearby, but not in the same room as the king. Okay. You actually feel Poe completely stationary. Uh, the room nearby. Should we go to him first? If we can. Okay. And then afterwards, I say king. Hmm? Yeah. Now I'd rather I like it. confront one thing as opposed to many things. Mm -hmm. So we want to look for Poe first if we can, but ten bucks says we got to go through the king first. I'm not taking that bet. You guys go up the stairs, reach the landing, and there's a door just, like, right there. Very just rudely interrupting your progress. Oh, of course. Yes. Sorry, I just thought of something like I've been carrying around my mother's head. So that's something I put in like my inventory. Okay. I'm going to say that your inventory is pretty near full though with mm -hmm. that bulk. Yep. So yeah. 
I've got a lot of jangling around stuff for sure. Yeah, I need to clean out your. Just room. like I just gotta get, go through some stuff. You get like key, and then I got like another key, and then a key, stuff. and then a key, and then all three souls, and now I can fit my mom's head. I mean, mine's pretty empty. If you want me to, you know, hold. The also, no. <laughs> I'm always a hoarder. Surprise! No. I just had a thought. It'll only hurt for a second. Um, my breastplate is socketed, and if shit hit, hit the fan, would I be able to equip a soul in it? You don't know. Oh, I feel like I had a socket, but didn't write it down. I'm not comfortable using them, though. It would only be if it was life or death. Life or death. Undyne pushes past this musing, and she's like, don't do that. <laughs> you're, mu- you're musing aloud again. Hmm. And she taps her hand up against a button. Well, not really a button, like a brick in the wall. And you see that she actually has the Daedalus ring on her hand. She's like, they look pretty. I think they go together. Mm-hmm. And she, you see that she tapped a little delta in the wall. And the door opens. This is upstairs yes. where we went up and went in. Nope. Yes, gotcha. And the door opens. You go on and there is a... a uh, Horizontal hallway leading left and right, and she's like, "We're skipping this. Then we'll, it will go right downstairs." Are you sure you want to go for the king? Can you take us to pull first? Uh, yeah, but he's through the same way. Then yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wait, then. Can Hammer join us first? Hammer, he's currently occupied, but she'll be coming up as soon as she can. Hmm. Okay. She opens the door. Without further ado, and you see that this hallway, I love you, but you're being needy. <laughs> this hallway is very expensively put together. Like, the paint is purple. Purple, guys. That's the royal color. How purple? And there's also, like, gold embroidered random frames that aren't even holding paintings. They're just there. What the fuck? And so you're just like, He's just being gaudy for no fucking reason. And Undyne's like, yeah, I hate the king. Anyway, (laughs) just past her, you are seeing six guards. Are you okay to keep going? I'll take those two. Okay. Six guards. And she's like, hello, um, we're just gonna go check in with the king. And the guards are like, we know you're a traitor, Undyne. Put your weapons away. Damn. Needy child. And she's like, I don't have my weapons drawn. They're like, then draw them and put them away. <laughs> Just kill them. Okay. And she summons her, her ethereal spears. She's like, I really like listening to you. You have good thoughts. <laughs> <laughs> On guard. Um, she summons her ethereal spears and she sends them out flying and impales four of them. Yes. <laughs> Creating 12 damage in four of them. Holy shit. Range first. Power. Uh, power. 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 Um, I'm going to catch. Catch. I'm going to cast magic missile. Three magic missiles. Okay. Who are you aiming for? Anybody that's hit? Um. All one target? There's zero freshies and tw- and four with twelve on them. I'll hit three of the ones that have twelve. Okay. Do I, do I roll through it or do I just okay? Mm-hmm. Five. Cast. What damage is is oh, on yeah. per missile? Let's see. It is. You can do your magic. the magic. So thirteen for each. Beautiful. Dionysia. Same on the same three targets. Go for it. 11 cast. That's 13 on each target. Beautiful. Agus. <sighs> Are we in range? Uh, you can get to range of the first two in this turn, yes. Sorry, Agus, I charge. Y'all motherfuckers need Jesus. <laughs> Since they're all equally damaged, <laughs> except for the fourth one that Undyne hit. I'm going to attack one of the two freshos. The fresho closest to the middle. Correct. Uh, yeah, charge. 12 plus 6 is 18. Hits. Excellent. 
I'm not using smites, by the way. It's Smite 11 plus smite 7 is 18 damage. 18 oh, damage. plus uh, the charge damage. Huh. Plus 4. So 22. 22. I get it. You're stop me now. <laughs> Don't stop me now. Ooh, I have an instant ability. Fuck you. <laughs> no, I Damn said it, Dane. Yeah, seriously. <laughs> Eight moves later. <laughs> Rainbow <laughs> beam. Literally. Skittle beam. Skittle beam. <laughs> Rainbow dash and skittle beam. Yep. Mm. So sorry. Oh. So. Uh -oh. <laughs> Sk There's one with a zero, right? This yes. One with one zero. Didn't hit. I'm yes. going to just mash into that one with my sword. Like right in the <sighs> gut area. I'm just gonna go. Man, you hit that so hard. Yeah, 17 Damage. plus 13, all that shit. There you go. Damage, buddy. Mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Cool. Um, it's like mm, 25. 25 damage. Mm -hmm. It's like 25. Right. That's my combo. And do it again. <laughs> Same place. Oh. oh, that's a four, but plus 13. That's great, right? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> 28. He screams as you slice off a hand, and he's like, Fuck, that was my favorite hand! Oh. That was my favorite! You bitch! Oh, she's throwing out the was B it? word. Join me! I was gonna say, is this right Join hand? Me. The guy that I think is like, No! <laughs> I saw a thing once online that was like, so on a scale from Jamie Lannister to Luke Skywalker, how well do you deal with the loss of your right hand and latent sexual feelings for your sister? Oh my God. <laughs> you were dealt 19 damage from that one that you have heavily hurt by him critting you with a spear attack. How is he holding a spear for one hand? I do hand? this. With one hand awkwardly, but he went right for the hip. Huh. Hit bone. Over couch stood against oh, himself and just ran forward. That means he has like ah, gorilla grip or something. Ooh. Undyne's grip. Once I have exactly the damage I have when you healed me. Mm -hmm. I healed you. Except she has, he has both arm, both hands. So 28 on Undyne. It's going to no joke. I thought they were going to be pushovers. Alright. I don't like that Undyne got hit so much. I'm gonna go for a second next time. You are hit once and missed once. They miss you. Hmm. So I got two of them on me. That's good. I like that. So this one. You were hit for 22. This one spear attack did 22 damage? Yeah. Eat a dick, 19. Pull out the big spells. Oh! oh. oh. One. I hit you. I missed her. Yeah. <laughs> nice <clears throat> 21. Player phase. 20. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> it's, it's like we're haggling. <laughs> Agate, your turn. Already? Yes. No, oh, okay. That person who just speared me. I go fast me. on my turns. Yes. That person who speared me <laughs> is going to from. attempt to behead them. <laughs> I've had enough of that shit. That's a cold shot. Ooh, 16. You decapitate. 13. Oh, yeah! Their head rolls down the hallway. Mm. And Undyne's like, oh, Frederick, you shit. You always did cheated cards. <laughs> Neat. Okay, cool. Can I combo and hit try to smack oh, someone yeah. else? Okay, oh, I'm yeah. going to combo and, like, just slash at whoever's closest. Yeah, that display. My sword's covered in blood. Oh, five thir plus 13. 5 plus 13 hits. That's 25 damage. 25 damage. 25 damage. Yeah. Yeah. Dear Cody. He is very hurt and also cursing you as he's like, that fucking hurt. Why did you kill my buddy? And Gormir. Why not? You see one guard telling off your friend, and yeah. two of them are attacking you. I'm going to attack the guard telling off my friend. 
Because he fucking deserves it. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Gotta be like... <laughs> Alright, I attack him. <laughs> uh, 5 plus 6 is 11. Okay, uh, that's a mess. Yeah. Rip. Prick. Yeah. Pyra. So how many are left? Five. Um, one that is very hurt, and three that are equally quite hurt, and one that's like, I have a cut. I'm gonna cast Fireball. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Kill them. Do it. it. Cast. I really okay. need to get to it. Okay. No one are you specifically <laughs> for, though? The lightly damage, the three mediums, the one extreme. Whichever one is, like, are they. Wait, what now? They're w- somewhat clustered. Sound kind of, maybe? A little bit? Kind of? I'll try to, like, in the middle of them okay. hit as many hit as I can. Maximum number of targets. Yeah. 10. Plus 13. 23. 23. 23 burning damage. Yeah. And how is splash damage calculated with that? Mm-hmm. Or within range? Fire damage within the radius of 5 meters. Five meters. So it's 3d4 burning damage mm-hmm. and then equal number of fire damage. Okay. And how, how much, what was the number that she rolled? 23, 23 total. 23 total. Pyra, you kill three of them outright. You unfortunately oh, miss whoa. the one that's extremely hurt. Oh darn. So there are now two standing. What kind of damage did you guys take? I took 19. 19. Undyne took like 28. I'm okay. Yeah. I took 20. Can he so. heal Undyne? Yes. I can, I can heal whoever I target. I was, was going to deal with his rules. Keep yourself healthy. Yeah, for sure. And Undyne, because Undyne can kind of attack four things at once, which is really nice. It's true. How do I want to divvy this up? I assume that she's got more HP than me despite taking more damage, so I'm going to cast. I'm just going to cast Heal on myself first. Spell Burst. Cool. So you're careful. Yeah, for sure, I'm a full. <clears throat> uh, ba, 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 oh my god. And I'm going to flash heal. Uh, I almost forgot to take off my MP. I'm going to flash heal Undyne. Not quite a spell burst. So close, though. So close. One point. Away. She appreciates it, though. Uh, two plus half magic. And she heals for nine. She would say something like, Oh, you would spell burst yourself, though. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but not me. <laughs> you are quite right. Just a guess. I'm the one saving you from the castle. Why aren't you prioritizing me? <laughs> <laughs> you have better armor. <laughs> By the way, she has not replaced her helm. She keeps it tucked under her arm. She wants to look at you guys. Mm. Fresh. That's nice. Uh, yeah, that's the end of my turn. She ca- she casts four more spears, and she's like, I love this move. It's kind of my thing. I know this. She crits. Oh. No, oh, they're dead. Insta-killing both of them. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so she's, she's like, like one, three. <sighs> Bob. Joe, you both sucked. Question. Like, a lot. For Undyne. Pretty sure you were poofs. <coughs> anyway, what? Was there a guard named Jerry? Yeah. Yes, I knew it. <laughs> what about Johnny? Johnny. That's a dumb name. Okay. <laughs> Is the helm that Undyne holding... Is, is that one of better quality, can I assess, than the Stygian helm? It's made of Stygian iron also because she made it from the, the staff. iron from so long yeah. ago. And, but she looks at the one you that like you're look you're considering and looks at the one that she has and she's like She likes hers. Yeah. Alright, well, we got here. So for Reaper's helm still. Which is cool because it's really good. <laughs> Everyone takes a billion experience. <laughs> four hundred XP. I'd settle for about thirteen fifty. Ding. Sorry, you said four hundred. Really? Four hundred. 
Uh, you may resurrect up to full HP, full MP. Ding! Revive, not resurrect. What am I saying? No. Restore. Restore. I said it's a long map along, right? But I don't think You've it is. You've dinged. I did. I was looking at that no. number like, Damn, what? Yeah. Yeah. But I'm not going to do my stuff. You're like super ahead of me right now. Yeah, right? I Jesus. just busted 10,000. Yeah, same. I'm still a ways away from 10,000. I'm at 10,003. What did I do? I must 10, have done something. No, because I, 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 he has been giving a lot of like singular experience awards. Yeah. So, I mean, it's very possible that you'd be just ahead by like... Yeah. What, 700, 800 so? Yeah. Undyne directs your attention for what the hall consists of. I'm going to then allow you guys to decide whether or not you want to end session on that note or keep going, okay? Okay. So, this hall, she says, consists of chambers for guests as well as the royal family. The Nemeans, the family that once held the throne currently have honorary chambers right there, to your guys' right. On the left is the vault. It has anything magical, anything dangerous, anything that the king really wants to keep for collective purposes, but she has no idea where the king is, where the key is, where the king key is. King, king, king. The boss key. <laughs> oh Down king. this hall, several doors on the left, several doors on the right. There, these are where guests would stay. And he, she says that there are a number of them currently here. Probably if Poe was up here, he'd be in there because he's currently healing. Um, at the very end of this hall, it opens up quite a bit. It's very grand, and this is where, like, a, not a conference, but, like, where people would be held to, like, meet the king on a personal level, not just on the throne. And his chambers are down there. There's also a massive ch chapel of the Twelve down there that he likes to stay and pray. A lot of the time, and it's also where the princess's chambers are. The princess. That is the third level of the castle. That is also as high up as you're going to go in this game for this dungeon, quote unquote. This dungeon. That's what you have to go with, and this we'll find out what dungeon. you guys want to do next session. Okay. Sick. I leveled. Yeah. Bye! Bye. 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 Bye